G'day, my name's Joshua Houston. I'm here today with Jack Hopkins, a Canadian exchange student living in Australia. How are you feeling, Jack? Pretty good. Firstly, Jack, what are some key differences you've found between Canada and Australia? Well, when I first got uh, off the airplane, one of the first things I noticed was all the traffic is backwards. Um, I live in the CBD and still every day when I cross the intersection, I almost always look the wrong way. So it's kind of a miracle that like I'm sitting here alive still. But um, yeah, I guess it's one of the biggest differences. Uh, what else is different? Uh, I mean, the climate, obviously, in Canada, it's pretty cold. Uh, it's spring now, so it's starting to warm up, but still like, I remember hearing like people complain like it gets to 10 degrees in the winter here and like that's hilarious because where I'm from in Canada can get to like minus 20 so if that's the coldest it gets here then yeah I'm pretty happy. How do you feel about the way that the Canadian political system is run? Um, well there definitely are some problems with it but especially with the US right now even before this election um, but especially now uh, I guess I'm pretty happy with it. Overall, it's pretty similar to Australia's system. And yeah, like in Canada, and I think Australia, like election campaigns only last for like a month. So like the pain is over with quick. So that's really nice. So on the topic of politics, living in Canada, how did you feel when Donald Trump was elected to office? Um, we, I think most Canadians, we had all been laughing about it beforehand, mainly because we all thought that Hillary would win. So the night that he won, uh, I live in Toronto, which is a very diverse city, if not even more diverse than Mel Melbourne. So um, yeah, like most of my friends are like visible minorities. So for them, I think understandably, it would be even more of a shock. And yeah, it was just right after he was elected, I thought, well, we should maybe just give him a chance and see what he does. And since then, it's sort of been as bad as I feared. So. Yeah, I guess we're pretty worried. I guess for myself, maybe I'm kind of happy that I'm far away from America right now. Uh, but in a few months, I'll be going back to Canada, so I'll be right beside them. So I guess wish me luck. Okay, well, uh, thank you for coming on the show today, Jack. I appreciate it. Do you think you'll come back to Melbourne in the future? Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, I have to leave in a few months after this exchange, but it's definitely unforgettable. And yeah, one of the best cities I've visited. So I'll be back for better or for worse. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Jack. Thanks for having me.